Hello, uh, we're here tonight in the studio theatre at the wonderful Hull Truck. Um, I'm here with uh, the theatre's artistic director, Mark Babich, and local playwright and teacher, uh, Richard Vigette, to talk about Richard's new show he's written, uh, Dancing Through the Shadows. The decision to do the play was not only because I thought it was a story worth telling, and it was, it was a really beautiful story about a family who lived between, in Hull from 1938 to 1945. Uh, not only in itself was that fantastic, but it seemed to me to represent uh, several occasions that the city has had to battle with stuff. Um, and so the idea was born to make a trilogy of work over a three year period that would somehow articulate um, the city's identity through moments in its time where it had suffered, but um, had had stuff thrown at it and had been ignored. And yet the people who lived through that, um, as Richard was saying about the shadows of that still existed and the shadows of that then turned into the shadow of something else. Another industry died and then that, that died. And then the shadow of that eventually leads us to where we are now, which is this wonderful thing of 2017 coming at us and then beyond that. So for me, there were footprints in the history that needed to be contextualized with our journey as a city now. And it's an incredibly human play, you know, and, and through the lens of a family and what a family goes through. Um, it, he's managed to capture not only the wit, but the grit of the city as well, really. Yeah, it, it, it is. I mean, it, it is a point worth making that although, you know, obviously the, the, the play is set in the past, it's about, it's about Hull in, in World War II. But the point is, it's a play that's been written now. And as I was writing it, I was mindful of, of events. Um, and what I was trying to do, what I was keen to do, was to try to put across in the play what it must feel like to not know whether your house would be standing the next day, whether you would still be alive the next day, whether your family would still be alive the next day. Um, if you go to work, whether there'll still be the same colleagues there or whether you know, some of them will have gone. And that, that fear of, of the air raid siren, that fear of the sound of the planes going overhead. Uh, and that is something that is very much in, in the present tense. Uh, and, and, I, and I do hope people make that connection. It is entirely deliberate. I am interested in those moments where things change for people. Dreams change, aspiration changes. And, and I am interested in that, what happens to people in those different sets of circumstances. So in our production, we've woven the tapestry of the narrative with dance, period dance, period music, and so dancing through the shadows is an attempt to uh, make a, uh, a story come alive in, yes, that was terrible in many ways, but there was also moments of great joy in there. So I think there's something in it for everybody. Um, I hope there is. I mean, that was, that's the idea. It's a, a, a play that speaks to generations because there's a wide range of, of, of age in it. It's a play, as I was saying before, it, that it has romance in it, it has tragedy in it, it has comedy in it, uh, and it's a play that is ultimately, what I hope anyway, is uplifting and inspiring about the ability for the human being to survive, the human being to thrive, um, and ultimately the human being to take care of each other.